are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just making a little cheat sheet. That's all. Notes. Because I don't have a very good memory. How long is this going to take? It might take a while because the last time we did a podcast, you hadn't even put in our new bathroom yet. And that was... I love how everything is framed by <laughs> my domestic accomplishments no, and renovations. That's, that's my frame of reference. That's How much work I've done. No. <laughs> yes. No. It's, it, it's a time issue thing. Like a time... Like, oh, I remember that was done in March. Okay, okay. This is just the intro. You don't need to get into it. Well, you didn't tell me that that's what we were doing. I know, right? I'm I'm trying to be busy. You're busy. Okay. All right. Leave me alone. He's a nurse. Life could be worse. She's a mess. We must confess. Welcome to... Princess has MS. This episode of My Princess Has MS is being sponsored in part by Ageless New Brunswick, timeless stories about passionate people published in beautiful Woodstock, New Brunswick. Connect with Ageless New Brunswick on their Facebook page for information about retail sales locations as well as magazine and digital subscription options. You, you did that really well. I, I, I would love a retake, but you never let me no have retakes. retakes. It's almost like you did that for a living. Almost, except I, I, my, um, my cadence was a little poor at the end there. I don't think it's ever going to be what you want. Don't say that. Did to be. This is all going to get better. <laughs> yeah, every, all evidence of that exists so far. I just... I just refuse to think otherwise. You refuse. You do a lot of <laughs> refusing. So we are back. Yay. It is season two, episode four. It only took, what, a year? Is it still season two? <laughs> it can't be. It's a eternal season. <laughs> it's a season that keeps on giving. <laughs> no, it's like the, the never-ending season from hell. I don't know why anybody would have stuck with us this long. I was just going to say, is anybody even listening? No, there's no. nobody out there. There's no point to this. <laughs> they and probably think we died during yeah. during the pandemic or the something. The thing, we didn't. We're here. <clears throat> we survived. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Many changes. Brent is taking off his clothes right now. I just thought I'd mention that. What's just, going on? Just the sweater. I got hot. Oh. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah, many changes. Yeah. I, I I had a list of things to talk about. And Boy, did she! Do you know how far back it was? It, it was from April. The oh. April after we went to the cottages with our friends. Um, oh my God! There when, was snow. It was cold. Like like that. See, that's almost a year. That's what I'm saying. Like oh, like see, we we suck at this. We lost all our fans. We're starting from scratch. This yeah, is, if we were doing this. For a living, we'd we'd have been fired. Yep, yeah, we'd be out of we we'd suck. be out of work. We yeah, it's true. Yeah. So if you're just joining us, I'm Leslie. I, I don't know why, but I'm I'm Brent. Yeah, I'm supposed to be the princess with you MS. Pretty much are, and I'm the uh, <laughs> what slave <laughs> manservant. Manservant. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a rough year. For me, I guess, yeah, I, I, like, it's not that, like, we probably would have kept up doing our... I don't see how. Well, no, I'm, no, I'm saying, you're not listening to me. You, you didn't let me finish my sentence. Oh, <laughs> I heard a period in there, but... No, see, that's the, that, that's the thing, my... You my, can't poke yourself in the eye with your pen. It's not open. You're doing this. <laughs> I'm just twirling my pen. I that's something that's happened lately. I not to distract myself again, but I I don't know if it's an MS thing, but I talk with my hands all the time now. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed? It's really funny cuz half of. of the time the, the actions don't even correspond with what I'm just saying. I don't even know what what it's about. Like <laughs> like I'm making square boxes or you know, like choppy. You're like a drunk mime. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's true. Because I'll, I'll watch what you're doing. I'm like, I have no sweet clue what she's trying to tell me with these <laughs> with these hand signals. And see, I'm, I think I'm making it clearer mm-hmm. by doing that. I'm just getting more confused. But as I was saying before you rudely interrupted me, um, <laughs> which I would never do to you. Anyone notice a change in tone? Please email the program. Why? Because <laughs> you're a little snarky. Haven't I always been? Well, yeah, but it's... Let's leave it to them and see what they say. It's humor. Is it? Yes. I call it abuse. That's funny. No, I'm just kidding. No. I I haven't snapped out of it, but I... Oh, my gosh, yeah. It's been since last April that I pretty much have cried every day. (laughs) Yep. There were, and you, yeah, you know that it's not. That's not even an exaggeration. Um, but I, I'm not sure that it's MS. I think I'm. Wow. I, well, no, I'm. See, you interrupted I'm, me. I'm just doing color commentary on the side. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Be a little less colorful. Okay. okay. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, I am perimenopausal, so I mean, it could be that sometimes women who are going through premenopause and menopause actually think they're going crazy and they're very hormonal and and emotional and so i mean it could be that but i I, i'm i am very i I have been i still am today today was a good day so so we grabbed the podcast machine and said let's you said something about quality time and communication oh i was so excited because brent came home today and he sat across from me in, in yeah we don't sit next to each other that's it's weird <laughs> um, <laughs> um yeah and we we were talking and you were talking about work and um for a couple seconds i got to say something and then you talked about work and, and <laughs> but i said out loud i said i i have you all to myself like we you didn't get up and like take a phone call or or get up and go watch Joe Rogan or whoever. I'm the not heck. watching Joe Rogan. Good. I I think he's Joe a, Rogan and I are not friends. Good. You've, you've come to your sentences. Sentences. <laughs> <laughs> I have senses. My sentence. I'm serving my <laughs> sentence. Um. So yeah, I was like, oh wow, like you haven't left the room yet, and then you had to to go use the washroom. And I said, are you going to come back? Wow, where's this going? Because you told me to say what I said. Okay, just checking. Okay. So that's when we decided, oh, hey, we have some good back and forth going here tonight. Let's do a podcast. Got some good old back and forth going. Yeah. Because. Uh... So by all means, we should talk to the internet. Because <laughs> that's what people do when they got good back and forth. <laughs> they don't keep it to themselves. No, no. not 2022. <laughs> no, no. So, uh, so here we are. Mm-hmm. Brent sitting in the red chair. <laughs> And oh. okay. Okay. Okay, guys, that's enough. Guys, guys. This guys. is a good time to introduce everybody to our our Rio, manic no. poodles. Come here. That was the worst time ever. <laughs> okay. We'll just, we, we we in case you haven't listened before, we, we have poodles and right now, um our eldest son is back at home, so with his guest. And he has a guest and um she may or may not be a female. And she is a female. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> that's, what that, does see, that even this, mean? This is why I shouldn't be allowed to speak publicly. Okay, clarify. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, so She's the house female. guest has activated. It doesn't matter what the gender of the house guest is. No, I know, but you just didn't want to say girlfriend, so uh, I'm just going to say uh, girlfriend. Uh, Ow, God. Okay, we're going to burn now. Anyway, the point is that's what's activating the dogs, and that's terrible, and we'll try and keep It's been them. months, and they still don't understand that she's she belongs here. So Yeah, she's part of the fam. Yeah. Yeah. She, she might not even know that. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't talked to her. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I whatever. couldn't tell you her name. We're not even supposed <laughs> to be discussing this. This is not part of the no. thing. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So, wow, we're really rusty at this. <laughs> yeah, please mm. forgive us. Please. We we never, ever intend to. Makes sense. No, um, there's a word. Anyway. Offend. No, we are very yes. non... Uh, we offensive. are offensive neutral. 
Is that a word? Um, thing? It is now. Okay. Who cares? It's 2022. You can say whatever you want. I almost feel like we should start this over I knew you were going to say that, but we but let's not. Because okay. that's, this way, people know that we're legit idiots. Like, we, we are doing this cold off the cuff, and yes, we had dog, dogs that bark. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, like they really do have dogs about. And, and, it, and it could happen again. Yeah, so please, we'll listen to it. We'll just stop and, talking and let them bark. And then that's a whole other part. Keep talking. Yeah. Well, no, I'll jump on them and make them be quiet. Yeah. They, they think it's their job to protect. To let us know. Us and the whole neighborhood. But yeah. anyway. So, yeah, I guess uh, going back, it, it's been since last March or April because I remember we had gone on a little mini vacation with friends of ours. But you did a solo show. Oh, okay. I've done two sh- two sh- sh- solo shows. Sure, sure. Two, two solo shows. shows. Yeah. Sure, That's sure, sure. true. But together, you know, you and I. Yeah. You and me? Us. Us. We. Yeah. Whatever. Um, usually I'm really good at that, but I don't have time to figure it out right now. What did you say about an hour ago? <laughs> uh, my words are getting bigger? Yes. And you said it was such pride. I said, my words are getting bigger now. And then I, I said, that's such a Trump thing to say. <laughs> it, it kind of is, but it was great. It was super no, cute. But it, okay, this is true though. I don't know if something, the lesions in my brain are like bouncing around or something. And maybe bouncing around in your brain. Maybe my old smart ones <laughs> are reactivated. Can that happen? No. <laughs> As a, as a teenager, what is going to come out no, of your mouth as right a, now? As a teenager, I used to read the dictionary for fun. It was <laughs> when you had reading time at school, and okay, all the but, other kids were reading books. I was reading the dictionary. Okay, but to be I fair, I knew the biggest words. You're gonna t- people are going to think that you were a nerd, and you did some crazy stuff as a teenager that I never would have done. I, I wouldn't say I was a nerd. No, no, you were not. I was a nerd, so I'm telling you. But that, I right? like to read the dictionary. Right. Okay, so anyway, I, I feel like some of those words that I used to know, I, they're coming back. And the reason is because I always have these gaps when I'm trying to say something and I can't think of the word. Mm-hmm. So I, I do this. You can explain what it is I'm doing. <laughs> I really can't because you look like you're describing yourself as a crazy person. Yeah, I, I, anyway. You're making windmills with your four fingers around your cheeks, which I don't. I don't either. Anyway. It, what it, is I, happening? I think it makes you feel like you're thinking faster. Make Maybe you. It's too hamster I could probably words. stop doing it now. You could because it's not making sense. All right. Regardless. Anyway, I'll go to say something to Brent. Like, um, <clears throat> I just put toast in the, and then I just start making these hand gestures because I can't think of the word toaster. Mm-hmm. But now... When I can't think of a simple word that I would normally use because I'm simple, um, <laughs> <That's not true. laughs> you're very complex. I was talking about intelligence wise. Anyway, right, so was I. Okay, um, I fill in with words that I don't ever normally use because they sound too fancy. They and sound too fancy. Pretentious. Yes, I wouldn't want to sound pretentious, but sometimes. It helps me fill in the gaps. You know what? Whatever works. Have I ruined this episode? Yeah, it's it's in the can. It's done. We're it's it's toast on fire. There's nothing we can. I do. sound like a rambling lunatic. No, and you got to understand, like a that's lot. That's probably of, not socially acceptable. No, to that's say a lunatic. terrible thing to say, and it doesn't work. But I am one myself, so I can <laughs> say it. Um. So that's okay. Um, all right. Well, Sorry, I interrupted you. I know, I'm used to that. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you actually got me. I never lose my train of thought, and you got me. Oh, anyway. I had just said that maybe we should. I've ruined it. Oh, yeah, throw the show in the can, but that's yeah. not that's not what we're going to do. Uh, so I think we talked about the fact that I got a Jeep. Just wait. Oh, oh we can't I, get there yet? <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> no, I was explaining why... Um, <laughs> Why I know that it's been almost a year. It was we went on vacation with so friends, and that I, was fun. Can I just point out that took thirteen minutes for you to get to that one place where you could circle back and figure out that you were talking about going to the the motel, the cabins. It's almost like I have some kind of a brain disease. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. Odd. It's like watching a squirrel in the backyard trying to 
get to a place. Oh, just, I think uh, squirrels are a little more organized than I am. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yes. I'm more yes. like a pinball machine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. With too much current and... I'm the ball. Like, okay. Is there just one ball in a pinball machine? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm one of them. And I don't know which corner to go to. I'm just... Or I go to one and... Get... And the hyper stuff at night is way worse. It's because I sleep too long in the daytime. Yeah. But like way worse. It's because the coffee's just kicking in then. There's no... What? <laughs> I sleep late, so I have coffee late. And then it kicks in at I don't, 10 o'clock. I and, don't think that's what we're okay. saying. I think it's something else. But anyway, we went on a very nice vacation <laughs> with two of our very nice friends. And, and they're very two, nice friends. And their two children. Yeah. And we had separate cottages, and it was by the ocean. It was and, beautiful. And um, you surprised me while I was there. Uh-oh. What did I do? See, you don't even remember. You had a plumber come in. Oh, yeah, right. Not to the hotel, though. Not to the cabin. That would be weird. That'd be weird. <laughs> yeah, that was the whole point of getting you to the cabin, actually. You know, think of it. <laughs> to have a plumber show up at the hotel? Now you're getting... Cabin. Now That's just a bad plot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyway... We had your mom come babysit the dogs. The dogs. Because we do not travel with the dogs. Well... We don't travel with your dog. Um, what's wrong with my dog? My dog travels. That, that's another podcast. Your dog yarfs in the back seat. My dog doesn't yarf. My dog travels. No, your dog can't behave herself and be quiet. That is not true. And she I poops think... everywhere. Uh, okay. She has issues. Up until that point, I was going to just. I thought you were describing yourself. <laughs> my dog is well behaved, but, but that's not the case. So, so yeah, yeah. I'll grant you that. You can explain what you did for me. It was very sweet. I get to talk. <laughs> I, I, I figured I owed you some airtime. No, go ahead. Airtime. Please, by all means. No, because I, I, you're a little more articulate than I am this evening. The show is about showing people how sometimes with MS, you aren't as, people aren't as articulate as they want oh, to be. Oh, I think we've proven that. <laughs> well, keep on proving it. Anyway, long story short, uh, we had a great weekend away. And while we were away, I had a half bath. I had a plumber come in and put a half bath on the main floor so that Leslie... If she has to run to the bathroom, it doesn't involve stairs. It, it's like for people with MS will totally relate to the fact that you have to be close to a washroom. Um, MS causes bowel and bladder issues, and it's been a game changer. We, you know, there's still, I mean, we, we, I knew we had one coming um, because it had already been painted and the, and everything had been put in place. The, the, you know, the, the, fixtures and and everything but um we didn't have the plumbing hooked up yet um it's hard these days with all that's going on to mm. get uh trades people into your home they're so busy and um and plus they weren't allowed during certain times so anyway brent brent had somebody come in and and uh sneak in a bathroom yeah thanks cole <laughs> yes, thank you, Cole. Um, and Brent's mom was here and, and uh, just to oversee everything. So One of the really funny parts was it was like when I proposed to you. I was trying to get you to go into the closet and look at it. And you were like, ah, I'm busy. You're cranky about it. I'm like, oh, my God. This is like <laughs> when she choked on her corn nuts. I was trying to <laughs> When he proposed propose to me, to yes. But that's not my fault. Well, that's another story. But... When I walked in, <laughs> when I finally walked into the bathroom, Brent's mom had put a little t- princess tiara on top of the... I always put my toilet paper on the back of my toilet in a pyramid. And she... she <laughs> <laughs> it looks organized. Oh, my God. People, it gives the illusion that I'm actually you hear a that, tidy internet? freak, but I'm not. Mm. Uh, so Brent's mom had put a little tiara around the top part of the pyramid around the top yeah. roll of toilet paper. And what else? She did something else uh, like that. Yeah, there was a little thing she made. Uh, oh, or was yeah. that the tiara? I can't remember. There was something else, Prince. A lot has happened. Yeah. So, I mean, Since. that that will be... Are we February already? Well, we're... It's January 20-something. Oh, we're 20th. still in January. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, so, I anyway. Know. Anyway, mid... Mid... Um, March... 
Yes, it was during March break. It's basically a year. Yeah, so it it will be a year. But you did your you month. did your other uh, your solo thing when I was in Yarmouth for a week. Why were you in Yarmouth for a week? Because reasons. Remember? For work. No. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Family things. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I forgot that. So anyway, you did that episode, yeah. but that was, and that was chilly, but it wasn't like super cold. So it must have been around May or something. Oh, I thought you meant my podcast was chilly. <laughs> yes, the podcast was chilly. <laughs> I was like, that's rude. <laughs> I did my best. Well, maybe it's a compliment. Chilling maybe would have been a compliment because it was Maybe it was chill. Chilling. Maybe it was chill. It was, I was chill. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. But I, then I did another one by myself, I, I believe. Did you? I'm pr- <laughs> wow, we don't even know. <laughs> we are the worst. I, I think we did because I think I remember saying. I don't think you did. I think we did because I remember saying I promised I would never do this again, that I would never go solo again. But here I am. So I, I do remember saying wow, that. I, okay. Because I couldn't pin you down. Like you were, you were going through a phase where, and I'm not making fun of you you were very tired when you came home you would go right to bed and then wake up and have supper like you no be nice um and i mean things were crazy and on fire at work so yeah um so yeah like we we didn't i i work in a hospital yeah he's an rn yeah i'm I'm one of those nurses nerdy nurses that sounded like what you were gonna say uh okay but you're not. He's yeah, probably, honestly, if I didn't know you and you walked into my room and you were my nurse, I would probably get all warm inside and fuzzy. I didn't think that's what you were going to say. <laughs> would you? You're bald and you have a beard and, and tattoos. and. Would you really? Yeah, you're a hot nurse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, okay. That's just, just ask the people you work with. No, I won't. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. If anybody who works with Brent or nope. has worked with Brent nope. agrees with me. Nope. Please don't. Let me know. Please don't. That's not even You funny. really are. Oh, You're, God, stop. Which which is a terrible thing to say because it's very sexist. Like if a man said that about a woman, that certainly wouldn't be very nice. I don't think the reverse rules apply anymore. No. Anyway, that's very kind of you. Thank you. I think. <laughs> and I have a new job. And I can't really talk about my new job, but uh, I have a new job, which is uh, amazing yeah. and uh, and really, really fulfilling and amazing. And, and you don't come home and go to sleep all the time. Well, I come home and do podcasts. Well, this is the first. So there's a first. Yeah. Which is great. I'm getting a lot more work out of you on the weekends. Interesting. <laughs> I need to ease back on that. Because now I have a new living room, TV room. Yeah. That is exciting. Is it? Okay, and it does apply to the show in a sense because... um, Don't make noise near the mic. Oh, sorry. I do that all the time. I know, right? And you forget stuff. Oh, and the dog farted. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) Not sure we... Okay, whatever. Let's keep it real. It's open format. The, The... Let's just... Real and raw. Let's just say it like it is. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure we should have everything. But. <laughs> That's me. I'm, I'm going to blame it on MS. I, I, I do. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, no, we had a, a TV room that was basically um, for the kids to play games in throughout high school and, and Brent. And even after they left, that's where Brent went. To, it's like a den. Yeah. But it was very dark and depressive, like a dark, like our paneling, our paneling, our woodwork in our home. Our home is almost 120 years old and it's, it, you know, it's beautiful. It's dark and, and, and heavy, you know, to look at. Um, but so was our furniture. And, and this is the the funny part. We could only fit <laughs> one one piece of furniture basically and that was our big l-shaped couch which brent bought to sleep on years ago like seven or eight years ago and um never found comfortable and you couldn't even put an end table on either end of the couch No, there was no room you could land a plane on that couch like but we could sit two families if they were visiting on the couch which was nice um but because we we didn't have our 
TV mounted on the wall. Um, we had like an entertainment unit and we had like uh, a huge coffee table. Okay. Anyway. So anyway, it was dark, depressive, not functional. And I love color. And I think I've kind of gone overboard with the color. Do you think? Like I don't think so. But um, I don't care. I'm just the guy who paints. Picture this. Romper room. I don't think. Uh, Pee-wee's Playhouse? No. I wouldn't sit in Pee-wee's Playhouse. I have two wing-back chairs that are the brightest red you can get yeah. with yellow cushions. Yeah. We have a couch that is uh, like a teal blue with red cushions. I have a yellow jelly bean-shaped coffee table. Which turns green at night. We don't know why. I don't know how it does that. Yeah. But. And it was the most expensive piece of crap we've ever bought. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have to move it in the middle of the room so no one touches it. <laughs> like, I don't even mean just puts their feet on it. Like, you can't touch it. It, it jiggles. And I bought two. Uh, I'm trying to do it in a, a vintage-inspired way. But... I think the carpet, the rug, is the big attraction because, like, you certainly wouldn't want to be under the influence of anything walking on it. Like, the carpet is the warp. The warp? The warp. The carpet is the warp. What's the warp? Uh, without breaking copyright, the warp is the uh, ethereal um, non existence that absorbs our souls, energies, and. Um, beckons us to distraction but in a very nice way like a colorful way the warp mm, that wouldn't wouldn't have been my description it looks more That's like my description like a marble but every color in the sun it's got orange yellow blue green mm, white mm. red it's okay so basically it's a very colorful living room. it looks like you could fall inside a, a, like the, a hole the like, rug. A, a, like a yeah. tunnel yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, that's been fun because it... For you. And the walls, you painted them yellow for me, lemon yellow, and mm -hmm. um, I got gold curtains, and um, I like going in that room now. So my point is... Um, okay. <laughs> it, it's very been very uplifting for my mood. It's it, Well, I mean, that's all that matters, isn't it? Well, no, but depression is part of MS. I say that all the time, but it's true. It's one of the symptoms. And this, you know, so that's kind of like a therapy room for me. It's therapy for me because the big screen is on the wall and I can watch TV and play Skyrim. That's true. Which is yeah. very helpful. Yeah. So Anybody out there playing Skyrim, uh, give us a shout. This is this is going on the YouTube channel, by the way. If you're oh, still, right. If you're still playing Skyrim, that's awesome. Uh, and if you are a fan of Skyrim, you'll know what I mean when I say try playing it just for food. It's amazing. It's a whole different game. So, oh, and by the way, I, I I think I told you I got married in Skyrim. That would have been nice to know. I built a house. I have two adopted daughters, and I got married in Skyrim. So you are cheating on me. In Skyrim. I don't There's care. There's not really much cheating because technically all she does is like make me money. And uh, what else does she do? Oh, she orders like nails and stuff when I need it. So basically it's what you do here. I don't care if Skyrim, if it's Skyrim or Bridgewater. Like it's, <laughs> it's a big, well, let me think. I got to think about that. I'll, I'll come back to that. But this is a moral discussion we need to have. I don't think so. Yeah. There's nothing moral about it. Exactly. I wish that actually. I wish that's the, that's why we need to talk about it this. Feel a little more immoral now. I think of it. Anyway, I, um, I, I, but I'm I'm stuck on the fact that you can play for food. Yeah. So like you, real food. Yeah, you roam around Ooh. looking for stuff, and then you start cooking, and you make food. And if you do that, uh, it heals you, and you feel better. And at the same time, you're progressing through the game, but it's you're only looking for salt. That's what I do. I look for salt, and so far I'm at level sixteen, which is why do you want salt? I just, I like, you need a lot of salt to cook stuff. You really shouldn't use a lot of salt. That's not good for your heart. You know what? My guy's getting a lot of exercise, though, so. Okay. Yeah, it's totally okay. I built a, like, six, or five-bedroom house or something. It's gorgeous. And yet I'm still waiting for 
a ceiling in my bathroom. Well, this is the biggest difference. In the game, you just like bang on a table three times and you have an entire house built. So that's if you want me to bang on a table three times, <laughs> I, I'm happy to do it. Yeah. Yeah. My kitchen would be like oh, okay. totally painted and Yeah, all right. Yep. If you have time to build a five bedroom house. With three bangs on a table. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm taking Skyrim time. That's not that's non negotiable. Anyway, the other thing is the so, Jeep. Yes, I was just gonna say we super we, happy. We we should be getting like royalties from Jeep. Jeep should be sponsoring us. Brent mentions Jeep every single episode and he didn't even own one last episode so <laughs> also true well did i you were he was babysitting his brothers for a year yeah but wasn't there i thought we did a show where i was like no, i got a Jeep. i don't think so oh. i mean you know it was a while ago well so anyway did you have it when we were on vacation with lance and Ange? um tip i don't remember those are just made up names i don't for yeah, I don't think I did actually. Because anyway, I don't know if we talked about this, but our son was in Toronto. He that didn't go well. We got him out there, out there the day before Doug Ford shut down Toronto. Like he landed back in Halifax the day before Doug Ford shut down Toronto uh, for the the big thing. Yeah, that so we had named. to quarantine the whole home. Yeah, and I did manage to get the attic bedroom finished in time for him to move into when he got home. Which, by the way, is why nothing else was done in the house. Uh, and then he, we turned, he decided he wanted to get into the trades, which he did and he needed a car. So we gave him the car and you were like, you should go get a Jeep cause you can't drive anymore and you should pick the vehicle. And I was ecstatic and I went and I found the Jeep. It's, it's got the red hooks. It's a trail hawk. It's gorgeous. Trail rated. And who let you do that? My free will. <laughs> um... <laughs> And so my biggest thing, everybody's asked me, like, how do you like the Jeep? Are you happy with it, et cetera? Uh, I was, but I kept saying, like, I, just, I need to know how it behaves in the winter. And so we've had some weird, wild, wacky winter stuff happening. And I, I don't think so. I Winter's love winter. love the Jeep. Like, there is, I'm telling you, there's nothing like knowing that you have a tank to get you anywhere you want to go. So much so that I... Thought I had sent you out to get me treats one night. <laughs> and I would, that's why he was taking so long. Yes. He was getting me treats. Yes. And he comes back. He had taken our oldest son with him. And rip. they had been the, in the woods. The woods. Yep. Yeah, we went on a rip. A woods that have no, has no, a wooded area that has no main road, really. It, no, it does. I mean, it's a road, but not. You had taken me down it in the daylight in good weather, and I would never do it again. I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> it, 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 it just brings into question for me, how much do you love your Jeep or, or value I it? I love it enough to take it places other people will never go. You, you could hurt it. It's your I, baby. You should I'm be treating it like it. a baby. No, you treat it like a Jeep. No. If you treat it like a baby, it doesn't like you very much. That works if you own a second vehicle, which you do not. I didn't climb a cliff with it. No, I, but... That's the thing people don't understand about Jeeps, especially trail-rated ones. They can do things other vehicles cannot do. That's the whole point. So you take it on a workout, and that's what we did in a blinding snowstorm in the middle of the woods, and it was amazing. And I'm going to do it again. Just you're aware. But I never tortured or beat it or do, do anything to it that it shouldn't be doing. Uh, I'm super gentle. In fact, most Jeep owners would be like... Pfft, Oh my God, that's not even a thing. I know, but most Jeep owners maybe don't have to get to work every day. Like, you don't have a choice. You, you I can't. will get to work every day. Okay. You just make sure you have a vehicle to get you. Absolutely. There. Okay. But it worked out well for our son because he got our old car. And... and I got my Jeep. Right. Yeah. And it's like the Batmobile. Yeah. It can do everything yeah. and go anywhere. And that's awesome. So. And that's totally, I almost poked you in the eye with and my you pen. <laughs> you just stabbed me in the eye with a pen. But what were you actually I'm going to put the pen down. That's a great idea. I really don't need Safety it. Safety plan. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that was a thumbs up. Is that what you were doing? Did I? I, I saw some thumb, but I <laughs> was just worried about the pen. Thumb so thumb? it's hard for me to focus. Um. Yeah, maybe I did that. I, I don't know. I don't remember. So, been playing some Skyrim, been doing the Jeep, been riding. 
you don't know this, but since I got my new job, uh, when I, in the mornings that I'm not training, uh, I'm writing, and my brother sent me an edit, uh, an edit guide, and to one of the like the newest book, and it's underway, which is awesome. It's, super, it's coming super fast. Great. Yeah, you don't. I know you don't care, but it's great. Oh, and I, I've taken up plastic, uh, plastic work. Uh, what do you call it? I don't even know what you call I it. I don't even know. And I mean, I know what you're doing, but I, yeah. I don't know if, it, if it's something you made up or. Yeah, I, I, he recycles plastic. Number two plastic, in is it number two or number one? It's number two. Into like jewelry and. Yeah. Rings. I made two rings. rings. I'm wearing one now. They're gorgeous. I want They're you to make me a soap dish. Okay. Okay. And, yeah, so that's totally exciting. <laughs> forging. Plastic Cause, cause forging. It's all about you. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I open my mouth? <laughs> no, that's it's because awesome. it was like a full report on everything. Well, it's been a while. Done. Yes, it's true. The audience cares about both sides of the couch here. If we have an audience, yes. But I'm sure they do. All right. And I don't really have anything exciting going on. I don't know. You... I've been sleeping a lot. <laughs> yeah. And hibernating. Hibernating. Um, crying. Crying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, crying is, uh, that's that's a, a lot. Yeah. Brent's making me fat. He keeps bringing me home treats. Yeah, I stopped asking for I'm treats such a long time ago. Jerk, trying least, to make you happy. I know. It's okay. Um, trying to think. Of, we both have our shots. Our we got we got we're the shots. double vaxxed each of us. Yeah, got my booster last week. Oh, you're triple. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. a triple triple. <laughs> yeah, lots of cream, and lots of sugar. You sh- yes, you. Are. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I got you, didn't I? That was good. <laughs> I'm just, you... a, I'm just a double double, <laughs> which could mean other things too. But I don't know. Have you looked uh, at your list? Because you made one. Yeah, <laughs> but I, it's it, a lot of it's just a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. Um. Yeah. So, MS wise. Mm. Um. Think it's worse. I think it's worse. I know. I. I don't. I don't know. I think it's worse. Oh, I spent... Oh, yeah. Christmas was the worst Christmas I've ever had. And I am not one to ever say anything negative like that about, like, Christmas. I've never said that about Christmas in my life. Right. But I was bedridden until Christmas morning. So the 10 Mm. days prior to that... Uh, I was only... You and your... I don't know about 10 days. Yeah. No, I was counting. Trust me. No, mom came down on the 23rd. Well, I know, but I, you picked Jake up at the, hos, at the hospital, at the airport on the 14th. And while you were picking him up in the city, I was scrambling to get all the Christmas decorations put up. And So safety note, no scrambling. Anyway, that, all that did was make me really tired. But I obviously did something to my foot that night because the next morning I woke up I literally could not walk on it. I couldn't wait there. So Jake's yeah. whole visit home, I was in my bed and your mom as soon as she found out came yeah. and she waited on me hand and foot which is it's we both did yes but you were at work most of the time i'm just saying like yeah. she was going up and down the stairs and up and down the stairs and i i don't like that because she shouldn't be doing that but anyway she loves it and told me she loves it and um she was making me you know breakfast in bed and I was eating it, and I don't eat breakfast. So after a week, I was like, oh, I feel really sick. (laughs) I'm not used to eating scrambled eggs and toast every morning. Can you imagine? Like good food. Yeah, like solid food. I usually usually eat Greek yogurt or uh, protein shakes. So um, anyway, I had had to calm it down a bit. Pump the brakes. Yeah, but um, we still don't know. Why my foot? My foot had a bruise all over the bottom of it that moved around, and it didn't hurt. Wasn't the bruise didn't place. hurt, but yeah. it hurt to put weight on my f- the other parts of my foot, the outer parts. Yeah, I was positive you tore a tendon. Well, yeah, it, it seemed like something was pulled, or because the swelling was there, the transient bruising was there. It, it just—I was sure that you, and then it went away. Mm. 
And I, I did do some Googling. Um, oh, good. Yeah. But apparently there are s- some issues similar to that that can happen with MS. Like weird transient pain, but not yeah. the swelling. Not that there's symptoms of MS, but it's been reported by people with MS that they have had similar things happen. So, you know, it, it could be MS related because, I mean, you and your mom were totally trying to get me to go to the have an x-ray but i couldn't even put weight on well, my foot to go down the stairs i wasn't trying to get you to an x-ray until you could wait yes there. yeah yeah um but it gave me an awesome awesome opportunity to order a pair of doc martens for the first time <laughs> in my life i don't think i've ever spent that much money on all the shoes i've ever bought <laughs> yeah you're you're a cheap shoe girl <laughs> i am and it's it's I, I I love a bargain. I don't buy anything unless it's on sale um, or cheap. And sometimes that's a bad thing. And when it comes to your feet, it's a bad thing. My mother's told me that for years. I know she's if she's listening, she'll be like, I've been telling you that for years. Um, so have I. I know. So we both have. Yes. Yes. And it turns out what you need now, because your ankles are such wrecks, are combat boots. Well, I, I was born feet first. I had surgery on my feet at, or I had orthotics, like in elementary school. I had, and I had in a, in elementary school, I had surgery on my, my, one of my feet because it had a bone spur and, um. And when you walk, you look like. My feet are going to break off. A seal with broken flippers. Oh, thank you. That's, I must be pretty sexy. Well, the ankles are not just cause it's. I don't think it looks quite like that. I could post a video, people would be like, wow, it, I mean, yeah, it, I, wow. Okay. Um, anyway, I. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, it's very attractive. <laughs> it's not about being attractive. It's about, oh my God, like, how do you walk on those ankles? And I'm showing the world every time I walk on them. How you Not anymore, because you're wearing combat boots. I haven't gotten to wear them yet. There's been such bad weather. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what they're made for. Oh, yeah. No, but I haven't left the house, so that's... Yeah, when's the last time you left the house? Ooh. I took you to get, where? To get a vaccination. <laughs> you <laughs> left the house to get your shot. What month was that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Yep. Yeah, we're definitely in it now. I want to go to a dollar store tomorrow, though. That's my goal. High times in Lunenburg. <laughs> I need to buy picture frames and uh, uh, peel and stick wallpaper for my my bedroom side tables. <clears throat> Fancy. I, I I told you I'm cheap. I, I but I'll make it look like a million bucks. You wait and see. Um. So anyway, um, Christmas morning I was able to make it down the stairs, and that sounds like <laughs> um, when I say that it sounds like oh yeah she yeah. Christmas morning, she could make it down the stairs. She was just lying in bed waiting to be waited on. Merry Christmas. But no, but then um, the next day, I felt it like I had done too much. because And it swelled up. Yeah. Thank God your mom was here because, um, well, and Noah, our oldest son, decorated the Christmas tree for me. I didn't even ask him to. And uh, it was it was a sufficient job. It was good. A sufficient job. <laughs> and, and also- it was good. On top of all that, it's so sweet. That became the new grieving for all the things that didn't happen and how Christmas didn't work out for you. And then because you your entered, mom had to make dinner, and then you entered this massive depressive episode that was awful for you. And um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Way to tighten it up on a high note, Brent. No, no, no. Um, but that was real. Like, yeah. Well, this is that what was awful. It's what it's all about, right? Yep. Um, Maybe there, there's probably people out there listening with MS who that's every Christmas for them. Like I, I, I'm being a sook. I mean, next Christmas will probably be back to normal. I, hopefully, or it we'll could be, be worse. Exactly. Yeah. No. You you jo- you don't know. No. Nobody knows what is coming ahead. Um. So anyway, then I went back upstairs for about four days, <laughs> and. Then I found, all of a sudden, it was just like just I woke up away. and it was gone. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. The bruising and everything. Like, yep. It, it, and I've been doing 
everything Every, I used to do, going up since. and down stairs. Ever and since, yeah. With, with no pain. Damn so, this thing. So, like, I, you know, I'm keeping an eye on it to see if if it comes back or whatever. Yeah. But it was just, it was transient, and it was definitely bruised, and it was very weird. Um, yeah. I, I, you know, I'd be interested to know if there's anybody else out there with yeah. MS that, that uh, has had similar things. I know there's a thing called drop foot. It wasn't, it's not that. It's like... No. Like, I, I do remember stubbing my toe, vacuuming. I stubbed it on the... We have, in our non-TV room, uh, living room, um, furniture that has heavy, heavy wooden legs. And I do remember stubbing my foot. Yeah, but like I said, that but was the it, top of your foot. Yeah, it wasn't... It, yeah, and, and the part that was red and purple on the bottom of my foot didn't even hurt to touch. And I could still curl my toes and, open, you know, like I was exercising yeah, nothing, my feet. Yeah, it wasn't and, broken. No, so yeah. it's just, just one of those weird things that just happened at the wrong time, Christmas. Yeah. And uh, I hear you crying. Yes. Come on up. No, you don't need anything. You come with mommy. Um, so the, She was talking to me. <laughs> you wish. Um so there was, there was that, and um, I felt like there was something else that happened. I don't know. <laughs> thank, thank you for your concern. Um, so yeah, so we just took the tree down tonight. It had no ornaments on it. I had taken those off, but. Um, so we had a ball at us nigging tree sitting in the living room on a January. What? You're mumbling. What did you say? A ball? What? Uh, I swore, actually, so I don't want to have to repeat that. But You didn't? I, you missed it, oh, so it doesn't Brent. count. No, it wasn't like a bad one. Okay. Uh, anyway, a ball, it was a bald, naked tree. That's not a bad word. That's not exactly what I said. Oh. <laughs> um, sitting in the living room on January 21st, just kind of as an ornament with no stuff on it. But th- th- that doesn't matter. I was going to... You know, make it into a Valentine's tree, and then we could just say that was the excuse. But the truth is, I that's was, just wrong. I've been waiting for you and Noah to bring down the totes. The totes. I, the, Gotta get the totes out of the attic so yes. that I could put away the, the Christmas the ornaments. Ornaments in the totes. That's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And tonight, Noah did that because he's a he's he's a really good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. And um, what did he say? Don't worry. There's a plumber in the house. <laughs> Yeah, that was great. That was really great. <laughs> it's just funny because he has a, a major in English and worked at uh, a very... Prominent like, media yeah, outlet company. That, that's owned by the government. That's all we can say. <laughs> and and we're, we're thrilled for him because he's happy now. He's very happy. Um, uh, but there was something else about... Uh, that happened around Christmas that I, that kind of went with that. I don't know. And it was we had a MS cool thing. We had a cool Christmas idea, and that was we were going to buy um, secondhand or vintage stuff only. Value Village things. Yep, and I scored huge. I oh my god, I cleaned up. I scored huge. I found the most amazing gifts. It was the kids' idea, and I of course couldn't. Go. I didn't participate in it. No, you ordered online. Yeah. Which I love ordering online. That's the opposite of fun. I know. But I got, oh my gosh, I got the greatest. I found an anthology for The Walking Dead graphic novel. I found... Uh, Beatles albums? Well, they were at the other store, but yeah, they were oh. secondhand because Noah was really into the Beatles. Um, well, he was oh last my God, week. Just all kinds of great, great stuff. Mm. Yeah. And I, well, one of my gifts for Jake was secondhand off of Marketplace online. Um, You'd have to see, are you stifling a sneeze? It looks like you're stifling a sneeze. No. Or a yawn. It was a yawn. Oh. Do you know people only yawn when they're bored? That's actually not true. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) It really isn't. Um, Yes, our oldest, youngest son has hair. How long is he it? has long hair? Well, he I has know. hair. Yes. Yes. No. But how long would you say it is? It down to his belt buckle. It's it's eighties metal, minimum. And it's curly. Metal. And yeah, it's, it's great. He's got great hair. It's not fair. Yeah. And anyway, we bought him an action figure. It looks like I, him. It's not an action figure. Yeah. It's, it's a it is a Jake action figure, but 
Anyway, you don't it, want me I'm to sorry. go into it. I don't. I don't think you should. I maybe. I don't see how it's know. offensive, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody gets me. I get you. You had asked me if things were getting worse. Yes. If why I, are you? Why are you poking me? I don't know. I'm touching <laughs> you. Okay. Um, that was. <laughs> That was a strange touch because you're like, on your shoulder. and then you stab me with your finger. But oh, okay. I did not. I didn't put any pressure on at all. All right. You're a little, a little wimpy this evening. Okay. <laughs> um, you were really out of focus. Bring it back. You were talking. So maybe that's a thing that's changed. Yep. Yeah. I'm a little squirrely, a little bit. But um, I got to stop making that noise, too, on the uh, arm of the chair. So you're forgetting cues about things, yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I, I, my words are, are terrible. My articulation. Your, your balance is awful. Yeah. Your sleep is terrible. That's my own fault. That's, that's Mm. not even an MS Mm. thing. I'm. Insomnia is a huge, huge, huge symptom of MS. But I shouldn't be on my phone as late as I am. Yeah. But like the one night I tried sleeping with you, you were telling me jokes at two o'clock in the morning. (laughs) Oh, that was the night. The power went out. We had a storm here. And I think we've said this before. It's no big secret. We can't sleep with each other. Like, it's been 20 some odd years. Yeah. (laughs) We still manage to have children, so it's okay. Um, But he sleeps with his dog. I sleep with my dog. I love sleeping by myself. It's heaven when I do sleep. Um, You are freezing. You have your room the temperature of a meat locker. There isn't even a heater in my bedroom. Yeah. Um, And I won't let Brent put one in. And you engage in Muay Thai in your sleep. (laughs) And I can't defend myself. I think that might have been years ago and you're still using it as an excuse. It only has to happen once. (laughs) But anyway, I was so hyper when I got to bed. I, I can't sleep when there's someone else in my bed. I just can't. Unless it's the dog. You don't sleep anyway. I want so you to think about I that. was giddy, and I, <laughs> I just couldn't stop laughing. God, you're telling me jokes at like 2.30. <laughs> I can't even think at 2.30 anymore. I know. I wish we had recorded that because... We should have. It was hilarious. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Anyway, so we're running out of time. Believe it, yeah. Time, yeah. we... No one's our boss. We can do what no, we I want No, I know, but do. an hour? How long do people want to listen to us, you know... We we did say we wouldn't go past an hour for most of these shows because, I mean, we're not Joe but Rogan. But it's been a we're year. For three so. years. Well, then we need to do another show, right? We yeah. owe the sponsor several, so this oh my we gosh. can keep talking. Anyway. We love you, Teresa. We love you, Teresa. The, um, so the bottom line is we're both, we're both still alive. Mm-hmm. Made it through the big thing that should not be named. Um, and actually, that's the truth. We're not allowed to say it. Well, yeah, there's some kind of audit thing that they're doing now with YouTube. And since yeah. it's going on YouTube, we don't want to talk about it. Um, but well, I have a new job that is in a bigger hospital. So, yeah. uh, you know, we're riding through that fifth wave now and, like, trying to, uh, you he's, know. He's a teacher. Life. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. An educator. That and a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, fantastic job. And uh, I've like, never seen you happier, actually. Well, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You're a pleasure to be around now. Oh, look out. How bad was it before? <laughs> You're a pleasure to be around again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that's life. So that's cool, too. And we did another show. Uh, we're not. Uh, did you just end it? No, I didn't. Oh, I thought you pressed the I stop keep, button. I, didn't I have even... to. With this phone, I have to keep pressing it that way for the screen minutes. to come up. Yeah, what you were going to say. Um, yeah, oh, one thing that is important. You you had asked me what is worse. And I, during the past two years, the, the crisis that we're going through, that we shall not be named, like you said, um, uh, hadn't left the house very often. And so mm. I didn't notice it until we went to vote twice during this whole thing. And... We went to Valley Village. That was fun. Yeah. Great time. We did. We had mentioned that in a, show, in a previous show. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. And I've been to several, uh, like, dental appointments and stuff like that. You and, wild woman. And, and recently. Um, okay, I get it. Keep 
spat in the armchair. I, I, I don't mean to. Um, but you still do it. And then when we went to have our <laughs> shots, it was so apparent. I cannot walk a straight line. Yeah. Like, oh, at all. Crossing the street to go vote. Like, I really do look drunk. You you. That's way worse. Like, you cannot walk a straight line to save your life. But do you think that will get better? No. Well, yeah, but maybe... But sometimes with MS, you just have um, flare-ups. These aren't... This is a two-year flare-up that's getting worse all the time. So, no, I don't, I don't think it's going to get better. Like, when you get out of the car, I try and make sure I am at your side and guiding you. Because if not, you're going to end up in Ohio. <laughs> How? You'll just keep walking. Oh. You aim straight, you veer left or right. Like, you're not safe in a parking lot for sure if cars are going by. Because I know you intend to walk straight. I can see it. Well, no, that's the thing. I know where I'm going and I'm looking at it. But I don't have to walk the same path that you walk. That's a little the, philosophical, I, I know. What but. I believe you're doing is known <laughs> as uh, BSing. And what <laughs> I see happening is you go, okay, A to B, there's B. And then you're over at X, uh, deep left or deep right. So I have to be there like, hey, I'm 10 feet this way. Come here. And then you do. So I hold your hand. Because even when I hold your hand, you pull. Like, it, it's not your fault. You no, know, I, I know. don't think you know you're doing it. Well, it's you... partly because you're taller than I am, too. I find hot. That's what? Holding hands with someone who's taller than you, it's hard. Doesn't pull you like a magnetic pole. No, it feels like across I'm pulling you. Lot. Like, I have to pull your arm down to where mine is. Again, does that make sense? No, no my arms are popular. nothing you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. No, okay. your your sense of direction. Your um. When so you I really toward. shouldn't be driving a car. Are we still talking about that? If you get off this couch right now and aim for that door frame and bounce off it, <laughs> do you think that person should be driving a car? Mm, no. And my eyesight, my eyesight has gotten it's much crap. worse. I have to go to the to the eye doctor. I can't see TV very well anymore. No, no. It's not like even like to pick the channel that I want to watch on like Prime or Discovery or whatever. Yep. I have to go stand up in front of the TV so I can see, like I see what I'm going to pick. Like yeah, I, I, that you didn't do that before. No, and it's not my glasses. I've clean them and clean them and I ask think- me to clean them yeah they're spotless yeah and it ain't that no no uh by the way uh another free plug we're not gonna pay for any of this discovery plus is fantastic oh my gosh if you are not watching uh and, and i'm not a garbage tv guy um if you're not watching alaskan killer sasquatch oh or bigfoot gosh. alaskan killer bigfoot you're missing out on life no you're not and you know what else no, is not. what else is amazing like best show super Honey addicted. boo boo has more integrity no. than I, that show well i disagree but i don't know them oh. and um, oh yes you've watched it with me before okay once. he's out now yeah once that was it <laughs> that should tell you a I lot i wouldn't watch that with you for a minute oh it, it's, I can hear it's it from um, the other room. no it transcendent it's got more to it than i think you realize it sounds scripted it is scripted. I'm sure it's scripted. Four guys in the woods trying to scare the living bejeebers out of each other. Looking it's for totally Bigfoot. Scripted. Yeah, which d- doesn't exist, but that's not the point. So why does there, your intelligent sub- mind, there's because subtext, you are intelligent. There's a subtext to this. You you have to transcend with them and understand what is actually happening in front of you. It's meta. It's bigger than just the show. But anyway... I get your point. And you won't watch like, Sister Wives with me. No, I'm not watching. Unless I get Sister Wives, I'm not watching Sister Wives. Let's put it that way. Uh, and the other show that is amazing is um, Homestead Rescue. Homestead Rescue is like you'll laugh, you'll cry, you go into shock. It's amazing. Um, oh, super, super highly recommend it. Totally binge worthy. Love it. I think I saw one episode with you. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you... you it's just but, too, I can hear it from the other room and it sounds so depressing. It's like like these people that decide all of a sudden because they've lost everything, they're just going to go I know. live off the grid in Alaska. No, and, well, anywhere isn't it Alaska? Well, usually in the states, but yeah, sometimes oh. in Alaska. And they don't have a plan. Yeah. And they get there they have no water. Yeah. They have no, you know, their house is made out Food. of tires. <laughs> yeah. And they can't figure out why it's so hot inside. And, and then these guys come this family and there's like they're like GI Joes. There's a there's a, a animal expert who knows how to hunt and stuff, and he's really cool. He's got a great beard, by the way. 
Uh, and then there's the daughter, Misty, who I, I got to admit, I got a little crush on. Like, she, she can use a chainsaw. You had a crush on Beth, the bounty hunter's wife. Yeah, that was weird. she died, too. Hey, okay, so. granted, that was weird. Um, <laughs> I can't help that. I don't know. I blame that on genetics. I don't know what that was. Um, and then Marty Rainey, who's a superhero. Like, he just, he does stuff you don't. And, yeah, it, it's an amazing show. So, super high. Well, but what surprises me about that is that. Some of these people sell everything they own to go out into the wilderness to do this. I can see the sense to that. No, not if you have never lit a campfire in your life or (laughs) used an outhouse or like they they have no plan. And some of them have very serious health problems. Yeah, one guy had no foot. And another lady, her husband had severe heart issues and he, he sat on the porch watching her do everything like that. I'm sorry, yeah. I made another noise with the, with the hand. The hand. Um, but in the meantime, you know, uh, Misty gets electrocuted. And anyway. she doesn't care. She's like, yeah, I got shocked. <laughs> and you're like, what? And she goes back and finishes the reno. Another good show, though. It's, it's cute. It's, um, uh, is it called On the Rock? What's that? The Carpentry Show. Oh, The Carpentry Show. Uh, oh, my God. It's it's filmed in St. John's. or Well, not St. John's, Newfoundland. Um, um, rock Solid. Yes, Rock Solid. Uh, we'll find out for next time. We won't remember now. Builders or something. Yeah, anyway. It's you know. it's it's like your home reno show, but it's in Newfoundland. And it's yeah. great. great and they have to put subtitles up to tell sometimes. you sometimes what, yeah. or, you know, what the, uh, the lingo means. In yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a dictionary. Yeah. Which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So but, yeah, we, there, there's some cool new stuff out there that that uh, we've. Thousand over Pound and, Sisters is one. Of I my don't favorites. watch that. I'm not watching that. I find it inspirational. Yeah, I know that's just <laughs> weird. I sit there and eat my bowl of ice cream, and I don't well, I mean, want to talk about the psychology <laughs> behind what happens in that room when you. It watch It makes that me show. feel better because things could always be worse. A thousand pounds worse. Mm. Yeah, I, I, no. Anyway. And. Mm. Ozark starts today. So Ozark starts today? Yeah. Now it's probably your Man. bedtime. Brent goes to bed at like a hair past 10. Well, it's the fact that my brain shuts off. But it's the weekend. You should be like, woohoo, it's the weekend. I was when I was 30. And now I'm like, oh, good. It's the weekend. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> but again, again, I'm up at 5. So for people that sleep at night and get up early in the morning to do things and go all day, they get tired and go to sleep. I have no reason to go to sleep that's or a, get up. Really. That's a problem. I So I stay up and I, I look for antiques online. Again. MCM. That's a problem. I am retro. not happy with that term. Brent doesn't know what MCM means. Mid-century so. modern. Ooh, and I am good. It's the new... It's my new obsession. Yes. And so I... I'm not... I, you would not believe how many deals I have got on Marketplace. I've bought... Ladies, let me tell you, I, you do not believe. No. Honestly, I've gotten things for $10 that are $10? on... $10? That are on eBay for like $400. $400. It's crazy. Crazy. I, it's crazy. And I, if anybody knows about the dainty ladies, the left in China dainty oh, ladies. Oh God, here we go. Dainty ladies. I I got a milk and sugar, or was it milk? It and... doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> they're really... like they're like fifteen bucks each online. Oh my God. And mind you, they're not in excellent condition, but I don't care because I like them for their um, character. I, I, I'm not looking to buy expensive. I can't. Uh, I, I it's I bought them for the look and in my, they just perfectly matched my kitchen. Turquoise red. Oh my gosh! Anyway, you're so excited right now. That that's what keeps me up at night. And okay. I, you should so hear me at night a, saying, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" Yes, I think those sounds are supposed <laughs> to happen at night. <laughs> But not over MCM online purchasing. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. And I found yesterday. You're not even listening. I was so excited. There was a, a house for sale, but I thought it. The picture they showed was of an old. Um, well, if you're in the states or whatever, you would call it a Kemac stove. But we live right across the street, almost from the Lunenburg Foundry, which 
is very old and they don't even produce things anymore. <laughs> Stop looking at my hand gestures. Anyway, this, my friend growing up had this in her cabin and she still has it. Um, what would you call it? It's a. I don't know what the a, hell you're talking a, about. A wood fired oil stove that you, people had in their kitchen. Yes. That they would cook on. They would yes. heat their home with yes. it. Yes. Yes. And it's teal blue, and it's called Lady Scotia, and it was made here in Lunenburg, and it it looks like the day it probably came off the factory, uh, shell, uh, whatever they have in a factory. The doors <laughs> came out the factory doors. Came out the factory doors. Do you want to? The truth is, I cried when I see things like that on on marketplace and stuff that that I'm that passionate about. I cry, so, but that's the issue. Things should not make you feel that way. Oh, I don't think that's the only issue. I think one issue is how hyper you are right now at ten o'clock at night, and you're going to be like this at three o'clock in the morning when this is how people are supposed to be when they get out of bed in the morning when the sun's up. But that's I'm so excited. Like, like, like that's my passion. Col- now. Color and right now. MCM and vintage. Yeah, right and now. Before it was poodles. And before that it still it was- is because I'm looking for vintage MCM poodles. Seriously. Oh, my God. That's how this started. I can't even. Like, I wish even. poodle skirts would come back in style. You wouldn't wear one. No, I know. I'm too hippie. Then but- what? <laughs> All right. So, pending that. That's an hour five. You knocked off a show. Way to go. Look at you. I told you we could do this. Yeah. I, there's a difference between doing and doing well, though. So this was kind of uh, like... This here should come be, the insecurity this, conditions. This should be like a practice thing, and we just put it on the shelf. It's going on the channel. Okay. Well, we all... Okay. I just heard something scratch the glass on that door. I think it was one of the kids that went, went by. I think it was one of the... I think no one went by. I, I think my father's been contacting me. <laughs> okay. My my nutcracker globe went off by itself. So the other we day. should turn that into a different show, but yes, the house is haunted. I will give you that. Okay. Straight up. Like There's no been argument. Some other things happen. I'm not even a haunted guy. Like I don't but yes, I, I, it's way too it's weird. It's my here. it's my Gaelic heritage. They say Cape Bretoners have more intuition that way. Who are they? My mom. Oh, okay. And all my family. Okay. On her side, which makes me part Cape Bretoner. No, I said who you said they say. Oh, I'm trying. I to read say it source. in a book. It was about Nova. <laughs> it was about Nova Scotian <laughs> folklore. Fun. I read it in a book. <laughs> I didn't Google it. I read it in a book. Well, good for you. <laughs> Let's do a show about that because it's about not googling and about how haunted our house is. We could do that. I'm just waiting for totally. dad to dad to. Chime yeah, in. something's gonna happen right now. Uh, no, seriously, <laughs> something's gonna happen right now. I love it. I've always wished for a haunted house, and yeah, it's not like in the movies. It's it's actually like oh, there it is, and thanks. Like I literally last I was it last night or the night before when that happened with the with the teddy bear. Nut, the, no, the Nutcracker. Oh, the Nutcracker globe. The, what is uh, it? Music, a music box. A music go- yeah, globe. Yeah, it just totally went off. And I was globe. like, thanks. We've owned, the, we've owned it for over 20 years. It's like, been we owned- sitting on the piano all Christmas. And every year, every Christmas. Hasn't made a sound. Never, never We don't wind has, them, nothing. No, no. And I was singing the a Beatles. Beatles song. Paperback writer. Paperback writer. And it just, somebody likes the Beatles because it or went off. Or they're telling you to be quiet. And so you play real music. That'd be like, Vic, watch it. <laughs> Pipe down in there so we can play some real music. He, he would say that just to tease me. Yeah. No. Anyway, we're way over. It's it's a it's an hour seven, so we're gonna we're gonna shut this puppy down. And are we gonna promise to do another one soon? Well, we always promise. But are we gonna keep our promise? It's up to you. Are, no. are, are you gonna let me? Are you gonna let me? You know, do a show while you're sobbing in bed because we could do a lot more we shows. Could. We could do a lot more shows that way. We could just do one every night, basically. And well, it's just, real. We could put it like Leslie crying for an hour. Like, you know, it would be like that. Uh, I even the, quit Facebook. Like, I was so That's sad. always the first sign. It is, actually. Yeah, uh, when you go off Facebook, then I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> and down the roller coaster. Yeah. Um, and so there are and videos my, on. My kids don't on. love me anymore. Yeah, you go into this whole yeah. this whole diatribe. Uh, there's uh, videos on YouTube that are like environmentals. So it's like spooky cave or walking in the woods or whatever. We could just do an hour of you crying. 
He's like, Leslie crying. Leslie crying too. Well, I should be talking while I'm crying because. That's ugly crying with <clears throat> with talking. Do I ugly cry? Mmm. <clears throat> that's a good question. I refuse to answer. <laughs> that was good. I was I certainly get more affection when I cry. Are you manipulating me? Yeah. Because I, I can, <laughs> yeah. Cause I can cry up. at the drop of a hat. Yeah, no. No. Well, I mean, you can, but not... I like... was being sarcastic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I walked through that. I couldn't tell what you were mm. talking about. Anyway, we got to have TV to watch. Yeah, and I got to get prepped for the dollar store tomorrow, because it'll be my first outing and <laughs> Big old trip to the dollar time. store. <laughs> and right. I have money to spend. And You got your monies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, everybody, stay safe. Uh, we wish the best to everybody out there. Oh, and, and I do we... want to say one other thing. I miss my nephew, and I've never met him yet. Yeah, side That's effect of COVID. Hard. Yeah, we got a we got uh, a little nephew two out and there. A half year, two and a half years ago, he was born, and we at the height of or not at the height, just pre pandemic, and his videos that it's the only that my thing brother that sends you me, out of the hole. Today, I said to you, I said I was starting to think like, what brings me joy at, that I can't buy, and. Henry was the first thing that popped in my mind. And it is Henry. He is. Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? I am crying. Shout, oh. <laughs> shout out. So, hi, Henry. Shout out to Henry. Henry, thank you. you very much. We both love you. We've never met you uh, face to face, but we're looking for the first time that you can come home. Yeah. And meet us. Maybe you'll bring a brother or sister with you by that time. You had to. <laughs> Ignore that, guys. <laughs> yeah, don't, no, don't I don't encourage that. I don't endorse it. Um, <laughs> you did it. No, I was just being silly. Twice. I'm just, I guess my point was that's how long it'll be before oh, this is all over. You mean over. during a pandemic? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, we love y'all and uh, stay safe and uh, six feet apart, mask, and take care of each other, wash your hands, and uh, we will talk to you next time. Yes, we will. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.